Spokane police have arrested a burglar who liked to sneak into retirement homes and steal heirloom jewelry from elderly residents. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey joins us live at the Waterford where the staff caught on to the suspect, but not before he claimed far too many victims, Jeff. Clyde, they actually ch chased the suspect out the front door here back on November 22nd. That triggered an investigation by the patrol division and the neighborhood resource officer that allegedly links this young thief to several dozen burglaries at retirement homes here on the South Hill. You have to get a visitor's badge from the front desk in order to get inside the Waterford, but police say Pavel Altukov figured out a way to bypass security here and pretended he was related to one of the residents. He was using the disguise of, of there to visit a parent or a grandparent or to say that his mother or grandparent worked at one of the various retirement centers. Once inside, investigators say Altikov would try the door handles on residents' rooms until he found one that was open. This is one of the units he broke into, and when confronted by the tenant inside, Altikov explained that he was there to appraise her jewelry. Another resident shortly thereafter reported that a person fitting the same description came into their apartment. They stopped them, asked them some questions, and they backed out. That put us on alert. Police later identified Altukov as a suspect when they learned he was hawking jewelry at this Pond One on almost a daily basis. Almost immediately, traveling to local jewelry jewelry centers as well as pawn shops to uh, um, get cash for the products they'd stolen. Altukov appeared in court on Monday, and when Judge Mike Price learned that Altukov was suspected of nearly 40 burglaries, the court declared him a danger to the community, tripled the amount of his bond, and ordered him to stay out of pawn shops. Meanwhile, the Waterford staff is asking their residents to do a better job of keeping their rooms locked and held one of several new security meetings this afternoon. We take this very seriously, and when somebody tries to come into our community, take advantage of our seniors, uh, we're going to respond. When Spokane police searched Altakov's car, they found almost a thousand pieces of jewelry. They have now seized what they could find that he's pawned at local stores and trying to return that jewelry to the rightful owners. Reporting live on the South Hill, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.